My name is Micah Cooper. I'm a former Brick Fellow of Class of 17. I currently work as a medical scribe in St. Francisville. I have always been around medicine, the elements of medicine, the elements of health, the elements of resilience, and just taking care of yourself. So I think those were key aspects in my life that kind of directed me towards medicine. And then once I switched over, transitioned into college, I became very interested in neuroscience. My name is Mackenzie Wilson, and I am currently a medical assistant at Lance here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. For the field that I am in, it is not a lot of people that look like me. They don't think that women, especially black women, a lot of people don't necessarily just automatically assume, oh, she's going to go be a doctor. Oh, she wants to be a neurosurgeon. But then there's that other part of me. There's, you know, my mom, and there's my Brick, my brick people telling me like, no, Mackenzie, you're doing this. You're going to accomplish this. You can do this. You're meant to be here. This is something that you've worked for, you know, all of your life pretty much. You've always had this interest. Why would you give up now? I think there are always times when you're like, maybe I should just do something else. Maybe this, this isn't working. I can probably say that I had that experience like two days ago. So you just have to keep pushing. It's, it's a task of hard work persistence, and resilience. <laughs> what the Health Fellows Program has really shown us is how living out our vision can really be actualized when we have partners who are willing to do this work with us. And so our dream is to be able to provide more resources for our fellows, more connections, more opportunities, not just for connection's sake, but for enrichment sake, right? For helping to guide the careers and to change lives and to change a future that otherwise may have just been a dream but can actually become a reality. I think as a physician and as a parent, it is wonderful to watch young people grow and develop and explore their dreams and be supported through that. And I think that is really exciting. When you're a person of color or you're coming from a low income background, which is where a lot of the brick fellows come from it can be difficult you know how can you be successful and put your best foot forward if what you have available is the best that you can do but it's not getting you the results that you need to be successful because when it comes to standardized testing you can know all the material outside the test but if you don't pass the test you're you're not um, going to be able to access that goal it can be very helpful and it just kind of eases everything else so you can focus on your school, your academics, or whatever goal you're trying to achieve. What we need, what our fellows need, are people who are willing to continue to open doors, who are willing to give them opportunities, and willing to look beyond any preconceived notions of what they may see on paper. It's saying, okay, this is an amazing young person who clearly has the drive and clearly has the want to to do what it takes to become someone who's going to impact lives surely by nature of being in the medical industry. They need folks to look out for them. And that is the biggest thing that anybody could ever do.